Hey everyone, it's Samantha Jamerson, and today we're going to talk about sunscreen and sun protection. So let's get right into sunscreen. Everything about it, why it's important to wear, when you should wear it, and what type of sunscreen to look for, and the ingredients. So sunscreen is extremely important because we know that sunscreen is going to block UV rays. There's UVA and UVB. UVA rays are gonna cause aging, UVB rays are gonna burn, but we wanna protect both of those so that we don't age prematurely and so that we don't get any precancers or skin cancerous lesions in the future. So when we talk about sunscreen, obviously wearing it in the summer is super important because we're outside more, it's sunny, um, we're spending a lot more hours out in the sun, we're driving, we're exercising, we're by the pool, we're by the ocean. So of course in the summertime, it's important to wear sunscreen, but to be honest with you guys, we should be wearing it all year round. So when we talk about sunscreen, and I have a couple right next to me that I'm gonna go through with you guys, there are certain things you wanna look for. Number one, your sunscreen has to be a minimum of SPF 30. No SPF 4, no SPF 15, no, nothing that doesn't contain SPF. It has to have SPF in it and it has to be a minimum of 30. The second thing is you need to make sure you reapply your sunscreen every two hours. I cannot even begin to tell you how many patients come into the office and they're like, yep, I put my sunscreen on this morning. I put it on underneath my makeup or I put it on, you know, it's in my moisturizer at seven o'clock in the morning. I'm good, right? And I'm looking at them or I'm doing their appointment at one o'clock in the afternoon. No, you have to reapply every two hours. And people may say, well, I'm not even on the beach, I'm not even outside that much. But did you know that walking from building to building, walking from your car to a building, um, driving in your car, being under an umbrella, being in the pool, all of these things that we do on a normal day basis, the sun can still find you. How many of you have had a really bad sunburn or got a really bad sunburn on a day that was super cloudy? And the excuse usually is, well, the sun wasn't even out, so I didn't think I had to wear sunscreen. UV rays are always present. Whether you're sitting under an umbrella, the UV rays can reflect off of water. It can reflect off of cement and get you. Whether you're in your car, UVA rays can penetrate through glass to get you. So. The sun is gonna find you one way or another, so the way that we prepare is to protect our skin by using sunscreen. So the next question most people ask me are, there are so many sunscreens out in the market, which one do I choose? And there are a ton of good ones. These are some of the ones that I recommend, but there are others that are out there that are pretty good as well. The biggest thing when it comes to sunscreen is it has to have zinc oxide in it. I'm gonna spell that word right here, zinc oxide. It is so important, it is the physical blocker, it's a physical mineral sunscreen that is going to sit on top of your skin, not necessarily get absorbed into your skin like other chemical sunscreen, and it's gonna protect you against UVA and UVB. So if your sunscreen, flip it over on the back, if you don't see zinc oxide, Z-O, two words, throw it out. It's not a good sunscreen, you need to have zinc oxide. Another good um, ingredient to have in your sunscreen, or if you have this, it's also good, is something called titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide. Another good physical blocker. Sits on top of the skin and helps protect you against UVA and UVB. Now, if you look at the back of your sunscreen and you see all of these long words that you can barely pronounce, those are called chemical sunscreens. They're not bad. I mean, there are some sunscreens that contain zinc and chemical sunscreens. But if you only have chemical sunscreens and you don't have zinc or titanium in it as well, it's not gonna protect you that well against the sun. And when we talk about babies, and this is one of the main reasons why I wanted to make this video. As you guys know, I have a six, almost seven month old now, which is crazy. Um, and I remember going to his appointments and the pediatrician saying at his like four month uh, shot visit, don't forget no sunscreen till six months. Wait a minute. Here's my question with that. Who has heard of uh, Desitin, which is the diaper rash cream, right? I'll put a picture of it right here. Desitin is 40% zinc oxide. That's why it's so white. So I asked this question, I said, wait a minute, if zinc oxide, straight zinc oxide is in diaper rash cream and we're putting this all over their genitals, in between their butt cheeks, in the most sensitive area possible, why can't I potentially rub zinc oxide all over their skin to protect them from the sun? And my pediatrician said, actually, you can do that. 
So I said to him, I was like, so if I literally put, cause there's sunscreens, which are right here, that contain solely zinc oxide. So if I rub zinc oxide all over him, that's okay, right? And he actually said, yes. Yeah. So as a physician assistant specializing in dermatology, and I even uh, you know, double checked with my boss, Dr. Stephen Hess, who's been a dermatologist for over 25 years, he and I came to a conclusion and we agree that as long as your sunscreen only contains zinc oxide, which there are a couple that do, that I will show you, then it's okay to rub it all over your baby. I think that people, they tell people not to rub it all over their babies because number one, they don't want them to use a chemical sunscreen that's gonna make them break out in a rash. And number two, people sometimes put it on once a day, leave their kid out in the sun all day, they're still gonna get sunburned. So besides using zinc oxide, which you can on babies, I used it on Matthew at three months old and I've been using it ever since. Um, it's important for them to wear certain bathing suits. Like the, a lot of the bathing suits for babies are long sleeve, long pants, hats. Those things are still important. I'm not saying don't do that, but the point is you can put sunscreen on your baby if he or she is under six months old, as long as it only contains zinc oxide. So just to prove my point a little bit more, here is diaper rash cream, desitin, right? We all know this one. I think there's a purple one and either a blue or a green one, but I like the purple one, and actually my medical assistant told me this, the purple one contains 40% zinc oxide, which you want the higher percentage of zinc oxide, I believe the blue or green one is less, so always get the purple one for diaper rash cream for babies. And then this is a sunscreen that I just picked up by Aveeno. The only ingredient, if you look at the back, is zinc oxide, this is 21.6%. So. Some people may ask like, okay, well, if this is technically a sunscreen or a, a mineral sunscreen, why are we putting it all over babies for diaper rash? That's a very good question. But what zinc oxide is, besides being a very important ingredient that we put in sunblock and sunscreens, zinc oxide is basically a barrier. So when you put zinc oxide into the genital area, this is not antibacterial, this is not antifungal, this is not anything like that. What this basically does is you rub this into, you know, on our babies in the, in the genital area. And what it's supposed to do is when babies pee in their diaper, poop in their diaper, it is the moisture and the skin friction, because that's a very sensitive area that causes rashes to appear. So if you put zinc oxide on, it's basically a barrier. So if moisture, if he pees or poops or something like that, it's supposed to sit on top of the zinc oxide, not on the baby's skin and therefore won't irritate. So besides doing this, you know, after like, um, you know, he poops or something like that is when we'll use this. I also put this on my baby before he goes to bed because now that he's sleeping 12 hours, which is amazing, um, he might be in a pee diaper for almost 12 hours. So I always make sure I put this on before I go to, before he goes to bed so that the moisture of what's inside the diaper will sit on this and not necessarily his skin and therefore it won't irritate. Just a side point. But another reason why some people choose to go for chemical sunscreens versus physical sunscreens like zinc oxide is because of this. Let me just show you. So this is Desitin Diaper Rash Cream. This is 40% zinc oxide. Can we see this? This is very white. It is very hard to rub in, but it's amazing because it sits, I know this is probably gonna be disgusting to you guys, but this is a great demonstration. So this is zinc oxide. See how it sits on top of the skin, doesn't get absorbed? That's the point of this type of diaper rash cream or the sunscreens that contain it. Why a lot of people do not use zinc oxide is because they don't wanna look like this. So that is why some people will get sunscreens that not only contain zinc, but that contain chemical sunscreens as well because it's the chemical sunscreens that are gonna rub in easier because they get absorbed. Is everything kind of making sense now? So my point is that obviously you probably don't wanna rub this all over your baby because he will be literally bright white. Um, but if you were in a pinch, you could actually take diaper cream, rub it all over your baby and use it as sunscreen. Now let's compare diaper rash desitin with Aveeno Baby Zinc Oxide 21.6% Zinc. Hold on. I did wash my hands, don't worry. Okay. Now I did use a little bit more than, um, than the diaper rash cream, but I wanna show you guys something. I really hope you guys can see. So I just took that zinc 
and rubbed it into my arm. This is the sunscreen, this is the diaper rash cream. I know, I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm realizing it's crazy, but I think it's important to shout. Zinc oxide, 40%, which is a super, super high amount of, for, of uh, zinc oxide, which is not in a lot of sunscreens that high, would look like this. And that is diaper rash cream, okay? So yes, you could rub it all over your babies, you probably wouldn't want to, but it would protect you from the sun because it's a physical blocker, sits on top of the skin, repels the sun. On this side, this is 21% zinc oxide. Obviously a little bit better, rubs in a little bit more. So when in doubt, use a sunscreen that contains zinc oxide, but the higher percentage of zinc oxide, the whiter it's going to be. So my point through all of this is, pick a sunscreen that contains zinc oxide, do it at a higher percentage. I like anywhere like over 9%, um, even as high as 21, clearly that rubbed in really well. But 40 might be a little bit overkill, but you can put this on your babies under six months old if you were in a pinch or you could buy a sunscreen that contained zinc oxide.